Hey Mystic members, Mystic Poet 82 here, and welcome back to another Wednesday Wanderings. So this is basically my Q&A, and I have the questions unless you guys can come up with some for me. But I have a lot on my phone, and I think my bucket's getting kind of light. I'm going to have to add more from the next list because I think I only have, let me see, up through four in here and there's still a lot of four that aren't done but there's a lot of them that are like really short because I have them separated but maybe I'll start filling out five because I'm actually all the way on list seven now and I'm almost done with that one but I will probably maybe next time do another one that's like five short ones but for now we'll just do two that may have a story with them. So, I'll read the question off, give my answer, and if you guys have an answer, I'd like to hear it in the comments. Ooh, here's a good one. Have you ever met someone with the same birthday as you? Maybe not necessarily the same year, but the same day. I did when I went to the community college and he was, I think he was, I know he was younger than me. I'm not sure how much, like by a few years. It was like three, two, three, four, I don't know, something like that. But we hung out a little bit and he was nice. And then kind of after that, we just never talked again. Kind of sucked. But uh, he was actually the one that bought me my original... VHS copy of Shrek so that was pretty cool so that was like where the that originally came from um but yeah I think he was two years younger but uh and I don't and you know it really sucks I don't even remember his name <laughs> I feel terrible I don't even remember his name because it was just like it feels like it was so long ago but then there's things from even longer ago that feel like yesterday it's really weird how that works question number two Ooh, if you have a Twitter which I'm pretty sure most of you do why did you join it I was not going to at first I'm like oh it's gonna be all the same BS as Facebook and then that little voice in my head was like, do it. You won't regret it. And I'm just like, okay, fine. I've listened to that voice before and it's never let me down. So I was like, whatever. And it was funny because I was talking crap on it before I even tried it. And my boyfriend makes fun of me now for that. <laughs> but he's done the same thing about stuff. So, hey. Um... So yeah, I went on it and I ended up, like, some people use it just for advertising, but I don't know. When I first jumped into it, I wasn't sure who to follow. Like, I know they give you suggestions and stuff, and I'm like, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this. And, then, and, then. and I was just like, eh, 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 I don't know. And I was like, okay, I followed a few actors, but not any like I mean it wasn't like I don't know I, I even forget who they like who it was I was like trying in my head to think of actors and it just wasn't coming to me and I was like I was like I wonder if there's any like My Little Pony stuff from like the new thing and I look up and I realize it's this entire RP community of all the ponies and I'm just like this is kind of interesting so I'm like watching it, like reading some of the little stories, and it's really, really well done. But like, it was kind of boring, because like, they don't interact with their followers really at all. And it, it, like, unless you're a celebrity, they, yeah, the people that are running these accounts don't do anything, they don't care. So I'm just like, well, screw this. And then I went through and unfollowed all of them. I was like, I need something better than this. So I started following Star Wars stuff 
and that got me into meeting other fans of it and making really really good friends through that who I'm still friends with now I don't communicate with them quite as much as we used to because we used to have a lot of fun going back and forth with you know Twitter conversations and stuff and jokes and whatever just whatever you know comes along but like I'm still friends with them and also through that following Peter Mayhew and Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher built even before she passed I unfortunately never got any like recognition from her which kind of sucked and, and it was my fault I didn't do enough and I'm like I should have done more but the first one that gave me any indication that they read my comments or even commented back was Peter Mayhew. He's the only one that's ever actually commented back because one of my, one time my profile was my Chewbacca onesie and I, I replied to one of his tweets and he actually commented and said I like your uh, like your hoodie and I'm like oh my god he actually responded I was so surprised. Now I've gotten and it took forever to get any likes from Mark Hamill, but I eventually did, because, like, I kept going back and forth between trying and not trying, and was, like, half the time I was just like, this is never gonna happen, I might as well just give up on it. And then somebody's like, don't give up, or, like, this, this I guess the voice in my head is like, don't give up, you never know, it may happen. And so, I didn't give up, and I started actually getting some likes from him, but I've never gotten a full-on response. Not yet. I've seen other friends that have, and I'm just like, someday maybe, I hope, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> I'm not that lucky. Like, I was lucky enough to get it from Peter, but I'm a huge Chewbacca fan anyway. So, that still me really meant the world to me. But basically, through my friends that I've made, mostly through the Star Wars community, now I've, I went beyond that and like YouTube communities and stuff like that and Twitch and made a lot of friends through that too, talking in either just through Twitter or the DMs or whatever, and some of us still chat back and forth. And even making, like, some groups through DM, which is one of the cool things about Twitter. Um, I've been able to encourage people that are also going through mental illnesses like I do. And, uh, I mean, just a lot of positive stuff on it. Now, granted, there's, <laughs> there's been some negative things on the way. Like, I've had some guys try to hit on me and I'm just like... Uh, uh don't even try it buddy because even if I was ava available I probably wouldn't not not through Twitter no that that's just like no and like one of them was respectful and stopped with the DMs the other one I tried to be nice and say dude I have a man please stop leave me alone and he wouldn't stop he kept saying the same crap and I hate I hate, I hate, I hate, with a passion, being called sweetie. That is so freaking juvenile and immature. Like, dude, you are probably in your 20s. There is no way I'd go with someone that immature. I eventually just blocked him. I was like, nope, I'm done with this. I'm not, not playing these games. If you can't get the hint, no. And it's funny because, like, I kind of quit putting my profile, like, my selfie on profiles because I don't trust people. And the worst is on Facebook, getting friend requests from guys looking for women, like, no. I change it to my avatar and I hardly ever do now. <laughs> so it's like, I'm just gonna stick with my avatar everywhere because I don't trust people. I don't trust guys. And it's like, even if I was available, I wouldn't even, 
I, I really have no desire to move on. I really don't. Like, they'd have to be so perfect, everything I need, and that's never gonna happen, so no. I'll, I'll, I'll be happier by myself. But anyway, my, my main thing with Twitter is to encourage people going through mental illness and make friends, like, make lots of friends along the way, and I've, I've made a lot. And I've, like I said, I've had some from the beginning who are still there, just they got a lot of stuff going on too, just like I do. So, but we still keep in touch, and honestly I regret calling Twitter stupid, because it really isn't. Facebook is definitely classification of stupid. And if it went up in flames, I wouldn't even care. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wouldn't even care at this point. But I'll continue to encourage people, even though I can't always like do the tags or whatever. If I see something cool, I'll retweet it or whatever. But I'm curious to hear your... If you have if you know anyone whose birthday is the same day as yours or even more people. I would like to actually make another friend whose birthday is January 30th. If it's the same year, that would even be cooler, but that will like that will never happen. But anybody else who's was born on January 30th who's watching, please let me know and also share some of your Twitter journeys. I have a lot more things I could share about that, but I don't want to make this too much longer. Some of them are a little, some things are a little bit cringy, <laughs> and maybe I'll share them another time. So hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Wednesday Wonderings, and I will see you in the next video.